Let's see who we are versus the low key bagel. They're bagels, you know, but just just like on the down low, you know, low key bagels. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the J72 Gaming Channel. My name is Jacob and you can just call me Jay here. And today I wanted to show you all a game that came out this summer, so it's relatively new, uh, but it's still in beta. And this is Super Auto Pets. This game I was describing to some of my friends is basically a card game, but it doesn't actually physically have cards. But as we go through this, I think you'll kind of understand what it's all about. I'm just gonna hit play and dive right into one of these. Now I have yet to win. It's actually very difficult to get 10 wins and that's all it really requires for uh, an arena win, which this mode is called. Um, but basically the gist of this game is you're gonna have your, your pets here, right? Your animals and you want to throw these animals up onto your line and they all do different things right so like if i buy this otter it will give a random friend plus one attack and plus one hp basically your goal is to build out a team and when you hit end turn it'll go fight another team and all those other teams that you end up fighting are teams made by real players so there's some pretty in you know ingenious builds that people come up with and and whatnot so there's a few uh, intricate things that you can do here on your first turn. Now you can see down here, it says three gold. That means everything down here is gonna cost three gold. Up top, you can see my gold. You can see uh, how many lives I have basically um, until I'm done. Uh, and then how many wins I need. Uh, also what turn it is, which matters as far as the tier of animals that you unlock. So it's just turn one. So we only have tier one. So with these three, what I would usually do is I'm gonna get a mosquito. At the start of the battle, it will deal one damage to a random enemy. I mean, they're okay, not the biggest fan of those, and I'm actually not a big fan of crickets or otters either. Otters are okay if you don't have anything else, so I might actually go ahead and freeze the otter, which means when I re-roll here, we will keep the otter as one of our options. Um, but we're actually not really getting too many good options. I like the ant in the beginning, the fish, and the duck. Those are usually what I look for if you guys know this game. Um, but yeah, with these guys, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a beaver for next turn, and then we'll go ahead and give an otter, and you'll see right here what buy thing that I was mentioning that gives a random friend one attack and one HP it will do that right now Boop. there it goes throws it on the mosquito okay so that's basically how the setup of the game works but if I go ahead and hit end turn that'll take us to the combat after we choose our name and it's always these funny three adjective three nouns so let's go with uh, you know what we're willing to win today and uh I don't know astronauts <laughs> we're the willing astronauts sure why not all right, let's see how this first round goes. The last round I just played before recording was the best round I've ever had. I had nine wins and I had zero losses up until then. And then I lost every single round after that, which was heartbreaking. So I'm hoping I can pull out a win, but uh, honestly guys, probably not gonna win it on camera. I've been playing all today and that was the closest I got. So you saw there that that was a draw things play automatically, thus super auto pets, right? So there's that fish I was talking about. When this guy levels up, it gives all of your friends, which is basically all of the animals in the line, uh, plus one, plus one. And what's really cool is you can level up your uh, your animal. So if I was to buy this otter and to place it on this otter, it would level it up. It takes two, so three total, two additional on top of the one you're already there to get it to level one. And then I think the level from two to three takes like four or something like that. It's, it gets kind of expensive. Um, let's go ahead and unfreeze this guy because like I said, I'm not the biggest fan. We will grab a fish fish the fish is okay honestly uh, but i'm gonna re-roll all of those and re-rolling only takes one coin so you do kind of have to maintain your cash here ah here we go fish perfect now i can show you exactly what i meant with that level up so we're gonna use our last two uh golds here to actually level this up and when the fish levels up it's gonna give one one to all of these guys which is pretty huge in just turn one now your placement and orientation of these animals do matter um, the, they attack from this side over to the left. So from the right to the left. Um, so the right is in the front and you generally want, uh, not necessarily your strongest, but you, you generally do want a hard hitting, uh, front line, uh, person. So I think I'm going to keep my fish there and, uh, we'll move the beaver here just for now. Um, there are also food. Um, I've only seen honey for these first two turns, so it hasn't been super important, but the food is, is very important for buffing all of your uh, animals here. So let's go ahead and see how we do against the Naughty Housewives. <laughs> Great name there. All right, start of the battle. Mosquito pops off. Their mosquito also pops off. And our fish goes to town. You see the ant there. When it dies, it actually gives a buff. It gives uh, plus two attack, one HP to a random ally. That's why I really like it. It's its overall value is pretty decent. There you go. 
we saw we won and victory so that is our first out of 10 and we have 10 lives but the further you go in the rounds um you'll actually lose more than one life per round um so once you get past it's like round six or seven you actually lose three every time you lose so it gets pretty easy to lose um so what i was saying it's pretty difficult to uh to win all right you saw there real quickly i clicked it off but we actually unlocked tier two animals um which we still have none i'm actually gonna go i think i'm gonna immediately re-roll that here yes okay we have the duck i really like the duck the duck when you sell it because you can pull these down uh to sell them when you sell it it will actually make all of the pets and animals in the shop stronger which is pretty key uh when you're still kind of building up your team so we're gonna go ahead and grab one of those i think uh i think i might add a meat bone here it gives the pet uh five more damage which is pretty solid and i think i will have the fish around for quite a while um till about mid game at least minimum so go ahead and do that and i don't really like the mosquito or the beaver i could i could throw them up there to uh to boost and you know what i might actually do i think i'm gonna sell the beaver here we're gonna we're gonna uh freeze this guy because i might add him but selling it gave me one more coin right so i'm gonna re-roll to see what other options we got and there we have another duck so our, my team is actually weaker for this round so we may lose this one but it's setting up to uh for next round i can sell both these ducks to make all the things in the shop a little bit stronger which is pretty solid so let's see how this team works out for us willing astronauts versus the fussy beavers they're mad that i sold them <laughs> and they're back for revenge Okay, yeah, this one looks like we, we might lose this one, if I'm honest. Uh, yep. Oh, well, actually... Actually, no, we pulled through. Look at that. By one. If they had one more attack, we would have drawn. Interesting. Okay. Hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I will I will take that. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, cool. So, uh, I still don't like any of those. I'm going to... Let's go ahead and freeze this. Uh, just for safekeeping, kind of. And then I'm going to re-roll these. Okay, here we go. Now we got some good options. So, the peacock is one of my favorite ones. Every time the peacock get, it gets hurt, but survives, uh, it will gain two attack. It can get pretty good. And it can stack up there pretty fast. So, let's go ahead and sell our ducks here. Um, we're going to sell that duck. We're going to sell this duck as well. That makes the peacock a 3-7 minimum and the flamingo's okay so when the flamingo dies or faints as, as it's called it's like pokemon right <laughs> they don't die they just faint um you give the two friends behind it plus one plus one which is actually pretty decent um so i think i'm gonna pick him up so he's buffed which is pretty cool uh but check this out first i can actually buy the beaver just to sell the beaver and that will buff all those guys uh the buy sell strat is pretty fun um it's kind of difficult though because you're gonna have to keep a slot open um so let's see what our strat is here we do want the peacock to get a lot of action and so we want him to be behind the flamingo so i think actually this will work pretty well i'm going to give the peacock uh the meat bone which adds uh five more damage to its attack it doesn't increase its attack value which does matter in some calculations um but it does hit for five more so this guy has three attack but it's going to hit for eight damage which is uh pretty solid honestly in round four so i'm feeling confident about this round if i'm honest Let's see who we are versus the low-key bagel. They're bagels, you know, but just just like on the down low, you know, low-key bagels. <laughs> All right, looks like they got a peacock as well, and they have two swans. The swans are pretty nice. The swans uh, give you extra money every turn, so he's kind of looking for the, the end game, right? He's stacking his money so we can do a lot on his turn. I've done that once or twice before. It works out all right, um, but you do end up losing a lot of rounds because they're not super strong. They have no combat benefit other than being kind of beefy. All right, there we go, another victory. And we have reached turn five, so tier three animals have arrived. Let's see if we got any. We did, we got a whale. Now, the whale's interesting. The whale will eat something, and then when the whale dies, that comes back. So if I was to replace it with the fish here, which I may do, uh, or I actually think I'll do with the beaver, but anyway, it uh, if it was in this fish slot and it dies, uh, or sorry, when as soon as it starts, the whale will eat the flamingo, okay, which means the flamingo will faint and it'll buff the whale and uh, the peacock and then once the whale dies 
the peacock will come back and when it dies it'll buff again so the whale's pretty good at making things faint twice which is pretty handy uh so let's actually go for that the otter isn't really doing much and in fact the whale is a direct upgrade so let's go ahead and add the whale and we will put him here and i think we'll swap that out so that the uh the peacock here will get the flamingos buff twice and let's go ahead and lock this and we'll do some re-rolls we'll start hunting for some different stuff okay we have another flamingo here so now is the part of the game where you need to decide do i want to upgrade the specific animal or do i want to pass for something else so i could start upgrading my flamingo and give it a little bit more attack and defense and uh hopefully try to get it to level two when it ranks up its actual uh, ability does get better so it might give the two friends behind it plus two plus two instead of plus one plus one uh which is pretty pretty solid honestly so i think yeah i think as i talk about it let's let's go for that now the flamingo is not the best but it's okay it is it's all right um let's go ahead and re-roll see what else we can get Ooh, kangaroos i'm a big fan of kangaroos so when the friend ahead of the kangaroo attacks it gains a buff it gains plus two plus two that is honestly really fun so i'm thinking the time for the mishkito has come we're gonna go ahead and sell him we're gonna grab the flamingo we'll put him right behind the peacock because i'm expecting the peacock to attack a lot because it's gonna get buffed by the flamingo twice uh and the whale got is the whale ends up getting pretty beefy uh so he should be solid there too we're gonna go ahead and freeze the kangaroo so i can upgrade it later um something i can tell you guys already is the kangaroo and the peacock are our end game i'm gonna keep these forever and so at this point of the you know turn five my where my brain is at is to buff the kangaroo and buff the peacock we might get rid of the uh the whale flamingo and the fish but these two the peacock and the kangaroo definitely are staples on the team as of now uh, I also think I'm going to uh, save, uh, freeze this food because uh, beneficial food that buff you is really nice. And sometimes you can re-roll into the pill, which can be handy. Uh, it forces things to faint um, here in this uh, turn or the setup turn rather, um, which can be handy. But generally, it's it's kind of a waste. Um, and we have one more coin. So let's just go ahead and re-roll that, see what we get. And look at that. Got another flamingo. We also got a dodo. Uh, so I will show the dodo off later. I think I'll probably grab that next turn. I'll show it to you guys let's see how we do the willing astronauts versus the warmish bell towers okay so what he's he's got going on kind of the kangaroo too so you're gonna get to see the kangaroo in action here twice on both sides of the team now he's got the he's got the the camel the camel gives benefits when it gets hurt so it's pretty solid and it's buffing the crap out of that kangaroo which is not good he looks like he's got a way better combo going on Jeez, 2026 on that kangaroo. Whew. I think the word for that is sheesh. <laughs> yeah, we're not winning this one. Although my kangaroo's gonna hit pretty hard. He tried. He did his best. The fish came in for the kill, but luck luckily for him, he's got he's got a few more things. Okay, and there you see I lost three lives, so we're already at the point where, you know, if we lose three more matches, that's it. We're out. But we do have this round here with some upgrades. So I'm thinking we go straight for the kangaroo upgrade and we'll get this guy to level two. You can see now if the one ahead of him, he gets plus four, plus four instead of plus two, plus two. So that's huge. Um, now, here's the dodo at the start of the battle. The dodo will give his attack power to the friend right in front of it. So that's honestly it's it's insane. If you can stack the dodo with damage, he gets really, really good. Now, the problem is right now, he's a 1-3, and I don't really have any way to buff him on this turn. So I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to keep him frozen. Uh, but if I have a turn where I don't really need to buy, like, two kangaroos to upgrade, then I can throw, you know, I can get the dodo out and throw some food in the same turn on him, and it could be pretty beneficial. So I'm going to hang on to him. Uh, but right now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to use the salad bowl, which gives two random pets uh, plus one, plus one. And I think that can do quite a lot for our team. Uh, it's either that or I use the meat bone, which gives a guy plus five extra attack damage. And hmm, after last round, you know what? I think I am going to actually add this instead onto the whale because the whale was just just kind of getting beat around. And if, you know, if there's one of those camels or something that benefits when it gets hurt, I don't want my whale just sitting there kind of helping that player out. You know what I mean? So we'll go for that. I'll give a reroll here and I don't like anything I see. So let's go on to fight number six. The Willing Astronauts versus the Loki Scouts. Okay, this one looks winnable. 
He's going to kill the rat. Okay, and the rat's gonna spawn a rat for me, which is always an interesting play. I get wrecked there. Flamingo comes back out. Flamingo buffs again. Okay, and now it's time for the peacock and the can and the kangaroo to do what I designed them to do. There they go. Look at them comboing off. You love to see it. He is spawning rats, and I wonder what they do. I've actually never seen the rats betray me, but they say that the rats will betray me, so I'm wondering what that's about. But besides that, it looks like we are single-handedly just annihilating this guy. So, well done, team. Victory! Okay, that's 4 out of 10. We're doing alright. Reach turn 7. Tier 4 animals have unlocked. Okay, okay. Now, here's the tier 4 animal. The bison at the end of the turn, which is actually the end of the setup turn. It's a little confusing, but this is my turn, and you see the end turn button down there. So at the end of the setup turn, uh, it will gain plus two and plus two if there is at least a level three friend, which we do not have. We have a few level twos and a bunch of level ones, so that guy isn't quite the best. So I'm thinking this might actually be the time to drop the fish, even though the fish does have an item on him and he is level two, so I have invested with him a little bit so this is risky this is a risky play but i'm telling you that dodo is the way to go the dodo is so good so let's go ahead and do that and i'm going to use one of these and then we have six coins so i'm actually going to roll to see if we get better food we got that which is eh, good to get to freeze i guess to replace it but let's go ahead and use this ah we did get the dodo that's good okay so now the kangaroo is going to start with six which is pretty solid. And let's go ahead and just use the rest of our rolls on rerolling. We can see if we can get any of the animals that we already have. And unfortunately, we don't. This canned food is good, though. So I'm actually going to freeze this. What this does is give all current and future shop pets. So all the ones down here, plus two, plus two. Pretty sweet. Uh, I've got, I had a round where I, I used this like four or five times. My ones were coming out like seven sevens. It was crazy. Very cool. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. This time we are up against the hilly cucumbers. Oh, he's got a bunch of hedgehogs. These guys do a lot of damage when they die, so this will be interesting. Hmm, let's see how this plays out. My flamingo comes back, damage goes out, flamingo guys dies again. Now, the hedgehog deals damage to all animals, including the ones on his team, which he's probably counting on because he's got this camel here. So the camel, he's hurting the camel, and the camel is buffing the buffing the goose. Not a bad play. He's definitely hurting me, but I've got I've got some damage. Am I gonna be able to do it? I think I think we tie. <laughs> yeah, we tie. Alright, good fight. Good fight. So the good thing about a draw is uh, nothing happens. You don't get a win, but uh, you also don't lose HP. But the turns do go on, um, so things unlock you know, progressively as they do. Okay, so now we have a turtle. I think I might grab this turtle, if I'm honest, but I don't know what to get rid of. So the turtle's really cool. When the turtle dies, it will give the friends behind it a melon armor. What melon armor does is takes 20 damage away. It's basically a 20 damage shield. It's really, really powerful. Um, but first, we're going to do this to buff our shop because that's handy. And I'm I'm a little torn here because I'm going to have to get rid of the flamingo, I think, to do this combo. But it will ultimately be better. So it, it kind of sucks. But I think the play is to get rid of the flamingo, grab the turtle... And then I think we're going to buff the turtle so that it does basically as much damage as the flamingo would overall. Let's get some rerolls here. Ooh, a pear. Pear gives plus two, plus two. Very solid food. Good staple. We'll go ahead and lock that for next turn. And then we got another whale for an upgrade. And then here's the part <laughs> where I don't know what to do because I love the hippo. Fun fact, hippo is actually my favorite animal uh, out here in the real world. Uh, and in this game, uh, it's also one of my favorites. So what this hippo can do, if you get a hippo beefed up and does a lot of damage every time it knocks something out it gains plus two plus two it can go on a roll especially against people who are playing uh what we in the magic the gathering community call white weenie decks which is basically a ton of little tiny uh summons basically um they try to overwhelm you with mass not necessarily strength um the hippo just slaughters that the hippo does not care about that strategy and it's a complete counter to that which is very very good so the hippo may actually be a better one than the kangaroo um and we have two of them here so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and freeze both of those and we'll see how this turn plays out uh, and you guys can watch what the uh, shield turtle does for us here with the whale combo 
pretty common uh, combo I've seen often, um, but it's it's pretty beneficial here. Oh, also I just realized the whale's gonna eat him with the with the food I just gave him, so that was actually a waste of three. That was a mistake there. Yeah, see, he gets eaten by the whale. The whale gets melon, takes zero damage on that. And then bam, whale dies. Out comes the turtle. Unfortunately, turtle doesn't come out with the the meat. And uh, so yeah, I wasted that meat, unfortunately. <laughs> the bus comes out with the deer kill. And we're looking kind of bad, if I'm honest, for this one, but we might be able to pull it out. All right, kangaroo, I'm gonna need a lot from you. Oh no, this, this isn't gonna work. Can I gain four? No, he's gains two. Oh, I got got. All right. The nasty kilts got me. Ooh, and there goes three more lives. So I have two more losses before we're out of this. Rough. All right, but t turn 10 or nine. We have tier five animals. And the flamingo's coming. He's like, why did you sell me? Okay, so this turn, this turn, what do we do? I think this turn we, the kangaroo's level 10, level, level two though, I mean. Hmm. Hmm, strats, guys, strats. So this is where the game starts to become pretty difficult as far as the strategy behind it goes. So it's level nine or turn nine. Um, so here's here's my thought process. I either get rid of the dodo because the dodo right now is the weakest one, but we could use the pear as well as other foods to boost the dodo to then boost the thing to its right, which is either going to be the kangaroo or I replace the kangaroo with a hippo. And it's hard to say. Um, I also might keep the kangaroo and get rid of the peacock, but the peacock it's our highest HP right now. So it's kind of hard to say. The Peacock also has food attached, so it's invested already. Hmm, okay. Hard to say, but I think I think the game plan is to get rid of our kangaroo, which hurts. It really does hurt. Um, we're going to do that, and that will allow us to get a hippo. That will allow us to buff the hippo, and that will allow us to use the pear on the dodo to buff the hippo even more. And I think that's going to be how we do it. And we'll have a backline hippo, which I have used in the past, which worked fairly well. We also have an extra three coins, so we'll go ahead and get a little bit more power towards our whale. If we come across another whale and another hippo, we can get both those guys to level two, which should definitely be beneficial. So let's go ahead and get into another fight and see how this one goes. This time we are up against the Crisp Hipsters. Oh, and they've got... Okay, so these guys are going for what I was talking about with that white weenie deck, so we might actually be okay with our hippo. Check it out. The spider, when it dies, it's going to spawn another spider, and he's got a turkey, and the turkey buffs a, a, a freshly summoned friend, they're calling it, uh, which is going to be pretty dangerous here. So we'll see how this goes. There comes a little bit more. Luckily, we have two guys that like beating up little small things the peacock's getting stronger peacock's gonna trade here and how now here comes the hippo and let's see this hippo grow large large and in charge oh or not because he's getting buffed oh rough all right he just had a better buffing better buffing than i did Ooh, that one hurts okay let's go into potentially the last round here so here's the unfortunate thing too that i see immediately this is the snail the snail is one of the best uh animals in this game when you buy it if you had lost last match it'll give all of your animals besides it right so it'll give four other animals uh plus two plus one which is a huge buff for your team um super beneficial but you have to be able to get rid of it and where i'm standing now i think my team is set i think this is the team i just have to buff the team uh so unfortunately that's kind of what we're looking at. Now, there is also the shark. The shark gains plus two, plus one itself when a friend faints. So the shark is a really good back line. Uh, but since I've already committed with the dodo buffing the hippo and the whale and turtle combo shielding the whale and the peacock i'm thinking we kind of have to we're kind of set in stone at this point it's it's round 10 you know it, it would cost a lot for me to kind of restructure the team um, but i could theoretically get the snail and then get the shark and get rid of the dodo so hard to say maybe we you know what let's do this let's freeze the shark and let's freeze the snail and this gives three random pets. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roll based off of the food I get. Might be the route I go. Ah, uh, and we got the chocolate bar, which gives experience. Okay, so we're definitely gonna use that on the hippo. That buffs the hippo. Now that when the hippo kills something, it gets plus four plus four instead of plus two plus two. That's huge. 
the tiger is pretty interesting. This friend, uh, the friend ahead, so in front of this, casts this ability twice in battle. I never actually used the tiger, um, but that that could be pretty dank if I'm honest. Uh, up next to uh, the right thing. So now comes the decision: Do I sell the dodo to get the shark? Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking yes, mainly because I haven't seen any dodos come around, and the dodo when you level it up is why it's so valuable. At level one, it's good. Don't get me wrong. Like giving four to this guy is great, but when it levels up, it actually gives times two so its attack, so it actually give eight. And then if you get it to level three, it's times three, which is arguably the best ability in the entire game. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that. Let's bite the bullet. We'll never know how it'll do. If we don't do it, so let's get the snail first. You'll see that it buffs everybody. That's huge. And we'll go ahead and sell the snail. Thanks for your hard work, snail. And we'll go ahead and get the shark here. Okay. And I think that will do it. Let's go ahead and roll twice to see what we can save for next time. We'll save those two. And I guess we can save a turtle since we have a turtle. And we'll save... No, we're not going to save a snail, because if we lose again, we're out. We only have one HP. If we lose, we're going to lose three HP, which we don't have. So uh, we're saving if case we win, basically. There's no point in saving if we lose. So let's see what happens. Let's dive in there. Hopefully the shark can come through and be a little bit better than that dodo. Otherwise, otherwise we're out. Looks like they've got an incredibly strong dodo. Watch this. Level two dodo plus 30. We're looking at a 49 mosquito that's insane and he is just slaughtering me absolutely kicking my ass yeah we're out there's no surviving that well played subtle shovels which is actually a team name i picked the other day <laughs> pretty fun all right guys well that is that is the game uh i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see me play this a little bit more and maybe do some you know team composition you know maybe a, a whole video around the hippo right that actually works and a whole whole team around the peacock or uh go do that white weenie side of things we're spawning a bunch of things uh let me know i really enjoyed this game honestly this is the first day i've played it and i'm having a blast um so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it fits the channel theme enough for you guys to enjoy it it is animals and uh yeah, so if you guys like this and want to subscribe to join uh, the Sauropod Squad, we do mainly do dinosaur content over here, but I'm branching out to other fun types of games, anything that I like that I want to show off to you guys. And if you guys want to join the journey, uh, subscribe. I would love to have you along board. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Hope you enjoyed it. I have been Jay. Peace out.